Hello, it's Boris, and Boris be building today. What be building? I built special night kite. What's so special? Kite fly at night with lights on. People say, Boris, you, uh, you uh, town idiot. Uh, you, kites no fly at night. Not true. Kites do fly at night. You look. And uh, uh, where I live, uh, spring, summer, fall, sometimes winds up uh, during the day, 15, 20 miles an hour. But yes, yeah, true, uh, winds go down at night, but at that special time, right after sunset for hour, sometimes you have very good winds, five, 10, even more miles per hour, which is excellent for having kite go up. And to be seen, you must have lights on kite. So this is story about how to make kite with many, many beautiful lights. People see, people report to police, mayhem, consternation, UFO sightings. You have big joke on everyone. Yeah. And people say, oh, you're such a dupayash. Yeah, it's just okay. So tonight we fly at night with lights on kite, which I'll show you in a moment. But little diversion here for a moment. Uh, kites fly between... Uh, you know, 5, 15 miles an hour. Uh, I won't figure kilometers because now I'm in the U.S. So uh, people say, well, you know, how do I know? It's a, it's a half hour before sunset. Uh, I don't know what wind is. Uh, so people say, oh, I go look on the Internet, okay? Hey, but in my country, you know, you have to have uh, electricity. So you have to hook up powers and put a horse on, on a trolley and move, uh, and then electricity, and then you go and look on phone, but too much work. So now simple, simple things, look at trees, okay? So if leaves, you know, leaves, leaves only, rustling, it's like maybe four or five miles an hour, not quite enough, don't bother, stay home. If, however, leaves in branch, to which leaves are attached, are moving. Then you have five to nine, 10 miles an hour. This is good wind for many, many kites. Then if you watch closely and you have leaves and you have branch, and then you have big, 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 big branch waving back and forth, you have more than 10, maybe 14, 15 miles an hour, very good wind. And finally, if whole tree go back and forth, uh, it could be up to 150 miles an hour. Check. If you see like a gray cyclone, you may wish to go into basement and hide. Uh, or it could be maybe less than 150 miles, uh, like many 20. Uh, but, you know, be, be cautious if you see a whole tree going back and forth. Maybe not, especially if lightning coming down. Okay. So, uh, uh, with, uh, let's see, nothing more to do. Uh, we go to now build a kite and we go through parts needed to make lights on kite. Uh, in a moment. Uh, I'm sorry, here. Now to show you tools you need and equipment you need to build uh, lights for a kite. So, uh, question B. Hey, Boris, where do you get all this stuff? Uh, well, uh, sad to say, or good to say, who knows, uh, there will be gigantic octopus-like company that extends tentacles throughout entire commercial uh, home life and everything. I am not named, but it uh, takes namesake from large river in South America dot com. So you get all of these from that dot com place. So uh, first of all, uh, this is one exception. Uh, a place in uh, Kitty Hawk sells these for kites. Uh, these are little lights that run off lithium batteries and you actually have a little snappy thing here, see, snappy, snappy, that hooks onto the edge of kite. And you simply twist these on and off uh, and the light goes on or off. Next is a uh, little light, nice, nice, very bright. See, oh, go blind, ah, just joking. Uh, you twist this down here, okay, and it goes on, twist off, goes off, very nice. Also, very important, you need a very strong, uh, uh, you know, the tie thingy uh, with made metal plastic in uh, Taiwan or Vietnam or whatever. But you need strong one, not cheap Chinese stuff, but you need good, strong, twisty, okay? Uh, you get these lights, by the way, in bag, okay, whole bag full, not very expensive. Um, then other uh, neat thing is, uh, what, oh, this is small lithium battery. 
uh, you also get from place uh, named after a river in South America, .com. Um, it's 7.4 volt lithium battery, uh, and then you attach to LED lights. See here is small part where wires connect, red to red, black to black, uh, otherwise you cause fire. Any um, lithium battery blow up, uh, not good. Uh, and then you see entire, oh, whoa, big string of lights, which you can then put on, not weigh very much. Um, and then we have, uh, what is this, a uh, tube. Uh, people put smoking ice items in this, I think. Uh, but, oh, here's another bag with all these. These are called um, ballooned party lights. Um, balloon, whatever, for birthday parties or divorces. Anyhow, um, a little tiny light, and you pull out, uh, see, there's a little piece of paper, okay? Yeah, paper, okay, you pull out with teeth, uh, like, like hand grenade, and then it goes on. And then what you can do is put into tube, like plastic tube, like this, and then whole tube glow, okay? So that, that'd be idea. Now, all of this stuff is very light. Uh, for example, uh, I actually weigh up, okay? With, uh, with fancy, uh, you know, uh, pounds, grams, whatever. And uh, this comes to um, about two and a half uh, ounces, maybe three at most if you go, oh, I must mention, not to forget, very important, industrial strength uh is uh you know stuff for uh sticky uh you know it has two sides and it has little hooks uh velcro right you need some velcro and you'll see why when we build kite uh, lights okay so basic materials sticky stuff uh balloon lights uh bigger lights uh like this uh good uh, uh not made in china uh, uh twisties uh battery uh kitty hawk kite so i have this no place else then last thing i mentioned these are uh these are called fairy lights i know not why but uh, take my word fairy lights so fairy lights uh see is no no bat yeah battery here okay and um then we have small switch and you turn on it goes Nothing, why not? Well, see, small plastic here. Yeah, you see, there we go, small plastic. You must pull out with teeth. Okay, and then you have all fairy lights go on. So very lightweight, okay, and you have many, many colors. You have white, green, red, blue, uh, and such. So uh, you can put Velcro on this side, put Velcro on kite, and you can stick on various parts of kite. So now we go over to kite uh, and show how to build a kite with many, many lights on uh, to show at night, uh, to make police reports. Thank you. Uh, young Shema, Boris here. Uh, we are uh, going to uh, show a uh, kite with lights in a few moments, but first need to talk about science. Almost everybody loves science. Uh, well, almost everybody loves science. So the question is, it lights at night. You want to get the brightest lights seen longest distance. So what light can I, no, not me, not I, what like an eyeball see best at night so all you who vote for uh red please please to raise hands you 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 you, you uh, a majority say red uh wrong not red okay maybe easy uh all those who say white lights see best at night time uh, raise your hands here uh, uh, uh almost as many as uh red but wrong too what is best light seen by eye 
as in eyeball? Well, it depends. Uh, in daytime, you have what's called photopic. Uh, but at night, you have scotopic vision. Different. Uh, you see, you have in eye, uh, in the retina, uh, uh, things called rods and cones. And cones are what you see uh, in, in daylight color. Uh, but rods are what you use at night. So difference uh, in photosensitivity to wavelength of light. Uh, how I know about wavelengths, I, I, former life be uh, nuclear physics uh, science. So I was interested. Uh, but anyhow, uh, what happens is, is that daytime, uh, the, uh, the parts of eye, uh, the cones, are most sensitive to wavelength 555 nanometers. Now you may ask, how small is nanometers? It's uh, very, very small. It's even smaller than uh, President Skarachkis, if you can believe. But it is. So anyhow, 555 nanometers is what I best see, I, eyeball, uh, also I, too, me, uh, see. And 555 wavelength correspond to light that is uh, 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 sort of yellow uh, green. Uh, best example is tennis ball colors, okay? That is best seen. Okay, now night, different, because it's not cones, it's rods. And the rods see best at 505 uh, nanometers, which corresponds to left side of wavelength spectrum, which tends to be more blue-green. So when you pick lights for kite, you want to, yes, you can put on white and orange and red, but you want to make sure maybe majority or predominance uh, of lights have green, uh, blue, uh, it tint in them. And then you will have kite that many, many more people see. So now we go to kite in a few moments, uh, but uh, I have to check out my, my physics first of all. Uh, be back okay, in a moment. Okay, now we go to see uh, light, how you put a kite. So this is bird kite. Uh, it's uh, from Central America type. Uh, parakeet or big bird or macaw or something. So uh, this is back of kite. All of kite here is back. You want to put lights on back of kite and front of kite is what you look up at when bird is flying in sky. So you see this part and lights are behind kite, illuminating behind. Uh, so for example now we have, remember, uh, strong Vietnamese uh, twisties uh, this is like a, a, a lantern. You can like twist and pull in. You could put light directly in here in which it looks like a dot. Or if you angle, it lights up kite diffusely. Uh, same over here too. Uh, I have the little lights from Kitty Hawk, which uh, go on like clip clip right here, right here. And uh, then we have uh, another light here. And I, I stick in head. Uh, bird stupid not know if light in head or not. And then you see I have uh, the battery with uh, the Velcro. Uh, oh, by the way, Velcro, very interesting stuff. I uh, need to talk, you know, there is good side and bad side. Um, for example, this is uh, Velcro with the uh, sticky side, the uh, uh, with the little hooky side, the fluffy side. Uh, always best to put this uh, on what you do not expect to fall on ground. Uh, I don't expect it to fall on ground much, I hope. Uh, why? Well, dirt really like sticky part. Uh, and so if it falls to ground, uh, whatever is attached, uh, it get very mucky, very dirty. Whereas the other part, um, the, the smooth part, uh, it, it goes on whatever might fall. So uh, the battery here, uh, the sticky part is on kite. Uh, the fluffy part on kite, and, and then the flat or stuff is on the battery, because the battery may fall off. Anyhow, so here is uh, red to red, black to black, and then you see LED light going down here. Uh, eh, some of it's out, I have to replace. Uh, it was old light, but you get idea. It would go all the way down, come around the tail. Okay, then, then, remember we have fairy lights. Where are fairy lights? Oh, here is fairy light over here, see? Another Velcro, okay. And then we turn on, excuse, uh, difficult to do with one hand, but I try. Okay, and you see, I have tail now. The bird has tail, and it has all sorts of blue lights on here. Okay, and then we go over to other side, and we see uh, more of these. 
and I put this one on here for a moment. And this too is blue going down long tails. And this one, I wonder what could be. It be it be a different color? What be? You guess red? No. It'd be green, okay? Because remember, I at night best see. Okay, so uh, oh, don't forget, remember we have a tube that people smoke things in or put whatever they smoke. And you can put the little tiny uh, balloon balls that glow. So this sparkle too, and you can put them anywhere. Uh, and just remember, you can be creative. You don't have to have this in a straight line because it's on this uh, ferry wire. You can curl wire up here or around this way and make all sorts of interesting designs. Okay, now we take break for a moment as we walk back and we come back a moment and we'll show you what kite might look like at night. I have to turn kite around though because that's the way you would see. So wait for a moment. All right, and Boris I'll be back. is back and all set up to show what it looked like at night. And you say, oh, yeah, no, not so impressive. It's, uh, I see light, but big deal. Remember that I have lights on, okay, photons. So in daytime, you're not going to see lights. So what we're going to do is very tricky. I go over here and show the electrons to light overhead off. And now you see, beautiful bird. We see long tails that would be waving in wind high above. We see, we see little tail glowing, bubbly blub, and we see heart beating. See, heart? Maybe not. This be heart. Whoa. And then we see little glowy things. The head lights up. And uh, then we see blink. See how blink is here? If we go up here, when you have pointed uh, and we say 45 degrees to back away, it illuminates whole wing rather than merely a dot of light. Uh, now we go close and we see these little sparkle things, okay? Uh, they, they do not show up as well on the, the pixels on my iPhone as do other lights. Uh, so the uh, overall, impression is actually much brighter than now what you see uh, in real life. It'd be much brighter, maybe four times as bright in uh, my aretna this moment as what I see on the phone. So uh, this is Boris Builds and you too can build and build kites. They go up at night and you have fun, you scare people, you have police be calling, running around like crazy. What is UFO, a secret weapon, whatever. Um, and now you too can be a night kite flyer. Boris say, Jinkuya.